Hi there, my name is Kimberly with Beauty by Sewn and I'm excited to show to you today some tips and tricks of how to do your makeup when you're wearing bright colors. You don't want to look too washed out, but you also don't want to look costume-like trying to match everything with your outfit. So I want to show you some tips on how to enhance, define your features and look polished and still wear some playful, fun colors. Okay, let's get started. Okay, let's get started. So. To help my skin, I've got um, a hydrating skincare on. Um, so my skin has a little bit of a slip, but it also isn't um, too greasy. So, you know, when you're wearing a bright dress or bright colored clothes or, you know, big colorful earrings, you still want to have your features defined. And the best way to start off with defining your features is making sure actually that your canvas AKA your skin is smooth and even. So I've taken two pumps of a formula called Ultra Laton. It's an oil-free formula. I find, you know, in the heat of the summer months, um, a small amount of an oil-free formula, but still on a hydrated skin, um, hydrating moisturizers, leaves my skin with a healthy glow, not a greasy glow. Um, I do apply my foundation with a foundation brush initially because that way I get the most coverage um, with the formula. I spread it evenly and quickly with a brush versus my fingers. Um, I make sure to you know go along the edge of the jawline, through my hairline, and I do take my foundation under my eyes. Again, anything to help sort of counteract that darkness. And then using my fingers, um, I just gently go back and press, especially, you know, around the edges of your features or through your brow hairs, just to make sure that it looks, you know, smooth and natural. So now what I'm going to do is, again, in defining features, I'm going to um, also add some color. So I'm using, it's um, an amazing bronzer. It's Fresh Healthy Glow um, Bronzing Cream, and I just use a nice big powder brush. So I'm just going to pull up a small compact here because I don't want to block your view. And I'm going to start by applying bronzer from my ears uh, into my face. And that gives a little subtle definition. You can see that, but not um, too contoured or sculpted. Then I take a little bit, not going back into the pot, onto the apples on my cheeks, onto where then the chin, nose, and then onto my forehead. I take a little bit more through my hairline because I do have a big forehead. So I wanna make sure that, you know, I'm sort of almost shaping my forehead um, and almost shortening, shortening it by applying bronzer through the top of my hairline um, and not too much right between my eyebrows because you do wanna keep sort of through the center of your eyes and between your brows a little bit brighter. So that bronzer goes where the sun would hit your face. And then I do like, again, applying whatever's left on the brush. If you notice, I only went into that cream bronzer once and then using whatever's left under my chin, on my gobble gobble, just to help make sure that that transition of color is smooth. So it really is, um, this cream bronzer is very forgiving. Um, it's a phenomenal formula. I've had this one already for about six months and use it two, three times a week. So a little does go a long way. Now you can see just by adding a little bit of foundation bronzer, my features are sort of starting to pop. Um, and now I'm gonna actually add some blush. Um, again, I'm gonna want to help sort of define my features. I don't wanna overpower my colorful dress. But I do want to, um, you know, make sure that I don't look washed out. So I'm using, I grabbed a too tight of a brush. I just want a really soft, fluffy brush with a natural blush color. When you're wearing a bright colored dress, you don't want your blush to match your dress because then it'll look almost costume-like. So I'm using a very subtle, as you can see, blush color. So anything that's a natural color, this is called rose brown, bronze. Um, and again, it just naturally sort of highlights the color in my skin and helps to bring out, you know, my features, the blue of my eye. Now I want to define my eyes. So I like to do the picture frame before the 
um, picture per se. So I'm going to just gently define my eyebrows and I'm using a um, eyebrow pencil. It's waterproof and I find when you're um, more fair, a lot of times the tail of the brow starts to disappear and I start there and then bring a little bit more color to the head of the brow and then brushing the product back up through the brush, um, through the brow hairs. That way it looks more naturally defined. So again, um, start wherever you need product first the most. So for me, I need it on the tail of the brow, through the arch, and then a little bit up through the head of the brow. So now I am just going to use the spoolie to brush the product up through so that the color and the brow hairs blend and become one um, and it doesn't look as drawn on. There you go. And again, just brushing it over and over. So to define the eyes, but I don't want to overpower and I don't want to clash with the dress. So if you're wearing a colorful dress, choose nudes. Um, nudes tend to be sort of warm, soft peach tones, champagnes, soft um, browns, uh, bronzes, uh, you can use a shimmer or a matte. So you can see I'm using a Stilo Ombre a Contour from Chanel and it's just a very soft, uh, almost nude peach tone. And you can see it's very neutral and I'm going to apply this again across the whole lower lid very quickly and easily and using my fingers to blend. It's on a bare lid, there's no eyeshadow primer, making sure, again, that I get the color right close to the lash line, blend it um, right uh, onto the crease. I find too, if you're having a hard time blending, if you have a lot of texture on your eyelid, um, I find as I get older, the skin on my lid uh, becomes even more flexible. So I find that tilting my head back and looking sort of up my nose, I can make sure I can see my whole eyelid versus if I'm looking down at myself, you know, it's harder to get in there. I'm gonna now choose just a softer uh, or warmer shade of Estilo Ombre, a contour. This is number 36. I'll make sure to post all the products in my video. And with my eyes open, looking at myself in the mirror, literally I'm just drawing the crayon into my crease and only the outer half. So I start at the outer corner of my eye and come halfway outer corner of my eye halfway. So then if you tilt back, you can see that it's sitting there unblended. But again, just using my ring finger, I can just tap gently and the color immediately blends right into the crease. Look at that. So here's the color. I haven't, you know, blended it. And just using my ring finger, just tapping and patting the color. I'm blending it and I've applied it into my crease. Now I'm going to also take a little bit of this color and applying that crease color also along my lower lash line. So using a medium tone or a soft medium tone along the lower lash line actually is a nice subtle way to help define your features. Further to define my eyes, I find, again, I have blonde lashes. So if you have really great brown, black, lush lashes, you may not need to do this step. But being so fair and blonde, I do need to tight line or bring color right along into the root of my lashes. So just using a waterproof eye pencil, you can then just come along, tilt your head back and just draw the pencil back and forth. You shouldn't need a lot of pressure. You know, the softer the pencil, the better. Uh, making sure I would choose a waterproof so that it doesn't drop throughout the day. Um, and you can go also even above the root of the lashes. So just right here for me, I like doing it just at the outer corner of my eye. Because I have a round big eye, I don't need liner across the whole eye really thick. I, my eye shape is better to go thin to thick to help more create that almond shape that some people naturally have, but I am um, more big round eyes. So for me, putting a little bit more liner at that outer corner helps to um, 
sort of lift out that outer corner. And then to gently smudge it, just taking a small little brush. Um, and again, that's what's so great working with cream on cream products is you can just smudge them. And because this is waterproof, I know that creating that soft haze of liner is gonna stay in place all day. So again, I'm not going for an overly defined eye. I just want to enhance my eye shape, enhance my features, but I don't want it to look like I've got a ton of eye makeup on, okay? Now, before I do mascara, I'm gonna apply my concealer. And, oh, here's my shade here. I'm gonna use, um, this is an amazing product from Chanel. It's called Le Concealer. And I'm just gonna actually dot and dash. And you can see I've made sure that I get that concealer right into the inner corner and I actually let it sit for a minute. I'm now going to curl my lashes. So again, one of those very small but very helpful tips is curl your lashes if you feel that you need to help open up your eyes more, you wanna bring more definition, you wanna make the most out of your lashes, curl your lashes, it is worth it. And then I'm going to go and apply tons of mascara <laughs> because I do love lots of mascara. This formula I adore, it's actually, it's Le Volume from Chanel. It's one of the uh, original mascara formulas. So I'll just apply one quick coat for the sake of this video. And I'll go back and probably apply two to three coats to really maximize the length and volume of my lashes. So you can see now I've got a very softly defined eye. Um, I do have all this concealer on. And now I'm gonna apply a lip. So I want my lip to sort of almost blend and match in with my dress, with the rest of my makeup being nude. So to help maximize the shape of my lip, I'm gonna start from the outer corner and draw down to the center of my bottom lip using a lip pencil. And then again, to maximize, to make your lip look fuller, start at the outer corner and pull up to the cupid's bow. See, like that. And then at the cupid's bow, just do a little crisscross. that. You can see I don't look quite complete, do I? So I'm just going to let the liner sort of settle and melt. I'm going to tap in my concealer. I do like the concealer to sit and wait for a minute. It almost blends itself in. And I do bring the concealer down to the top of my cheekbone because I find that way it helps to brighten and create a whole uh, more lifted and elevated eye bringing that concealer right into the inner corner. This formula it is great. It almost sets itself, like I don't need powder or anything else um, to make it stay in place. And also I like taking concealer and just bringing it out at the outer corner because that way I can make sure that my eye makeup shape is lifting and just tapping and pressing, tapping and pressing. And then again, making sure that that concealer is in that inner corner. And I always take whatever's left and run it along my brows. My brows definitely are needing a little TLC, waiting for my brow girl to be back in biz. So just doing a little bit of concealer under my brow helps to make them look a little bit more polished. And then using a nice matte lipstick, this is one of my favorite reds from Chanel. It's Rouge Allure Velvet is the formula, and it's a matte, and it's shade number 112. It's called Oh Ideal. I just love it. I uh, just love the color. So it's a little bit more of a pinky red, but mixed with the orange red, you can see that it really helps to sort of blend and match with the dress. Now you can see I might have a few mistakes along the way with the edge. So you know that concealer brush I used? Go along the edge of your lip and look at that. You can clean up any of the edges so you can perfect your shape. 
So no worries if a little bit gets onto your skin or it's not a perfect shape. You can do that yourself with your concealer brush. And look at that. C'est parfait. So that is how I would do my makeup, wearing a bright dress. I don't look washed out. My features are still defined and my makeup still ties in with my dress. I'll now put on some gold accessories. Um, I'm not gonna fight more color with color and add red earrings. Think of it more as your lipstick as your colorful accessory to go with your dress. Hope you found this video helpful. If you're interested in seeing more tips, would love to know um, any video ideas that you wanna see. Um, would love your subscription to my channel um, as I'm now trying to go for 50,000 subscribers, okay? So thank you so much. Uh, stay safe, be well, and huge hugs and enjoy these bright sunshine summer filled days. XO.